le passé composé. What is le passé composé? Le passé composé is a past tense, so it pretty much states whatever has been done. It always has to be formed using an auxiliary avoir or être verb. So now we're going to have a look at how the structure of the tense. All we need is a pronoun plus the auxiliary plus the past participle. For example, je suis allé. Now, as you can see, the auxiliary is always conjugated in the present and it's located between je, the pronoun, and aller, the past participle of aller. So now we're going to have a look at what the auxiliary really is. The auxiliary verb is the verb that we're going to put in the sentence, and the auxiliary verb is always either avoir or être. Certain verbs are going to take avoir and certain verbs are going to take être. We're going to look later at which verbs take which. Now, what we have to do is we have to conjugate the auxiliary in the present and put it before the past participle to form this tense. So these are the present tense conjugations of both auxiliary verbs. For avoir, we have a for je, as for tu, a for il and elle, avant for nous, avait for vous, and on for ils and elles. Then for être, we have suis for je, est for tu, es for il and elle, sommes for nous, Ete for vous and son for ils and elles. Now we're going to have a look at how we're going to conjugate er verbs to get the past participle. All we have to do is remove the er and add an e with an accent. So, for example, je mange turns into j'ai mangé. How to conjugate er verbs? As always, we just remove the ir and all we have to do is remove an i. And or we do have to include that auxiliary verb. So, for example, j'ai fini is derived from j'ai fini. So, remember here in the first part, we only have je fini with an s on the end. However, when we conjugate it into the passé composé, we see that it's no longer just je, but instead it's j'ai with an a and an i. So, that's the present tense conjugation of avoir. Conjugating re verbs. All we have to do is remove the re and add a u. So, for example, je vend turns into je vendu. So, when are we going to use each auxiliary verb? Avoir is used for every single verb which is not reflexive and is not Miss van der Tramp. Avoir also has some irregular verbs which use different endings. Now, être is used for verbs which are reflexive or are Miss van der Tramp, and we're going to have a look at that now. So, which are Miss van der Tramp verbs? The Miss van der Tramp is pretty much an acronym for a list of verbs which take être as the auxiliary. They are monter, which turns into monter, sortir, which turns into sorti, venir, which turns into venu, aller, which turns into aller, naître, which turns into ne. Descendre, which turns into descendu. Entrer, which turns into entrer. Rester, which turns into rester. Tomber, which turns into tomber. Retourner, which turns into retourner. Arriver, which turns into arriver. Mourir, which turns into mort. Partir, which turns into partir. So how do we form these Miss Van Tramp verbs? It allows the same structure for all passé composé verbs. So all we have to do is add être as the auxiliary. For example, je suis monté. However, because we are using être, the verb which we've conjugated to get the past participle from always has to agree with the pronoun. So for example, nous sommes monté. Now this is different from the first past participle conjugated verb, which is just monté, that we've looked at in the previous example. Because nous indicates that there is a plurality, we have to add an S on the end to make the conjugated verb agree with the pronoun. Now, these are the rules. If it's masculine, you add nothing to the end. If it's feminine, you add an E on the end. If there's a plurality, we add an S. And if it's feminine and plural, we add ES. So, for example, if it would have been um, ils sont montés, we would have ils sont et then montés, spelt M-O-N-T-E-E-S. Reflexive verbs. Reflexive verbs are verbs which are going to use when the object and the subject are the exact same thing. 
So they are actions which we do to ourselves. When using these reflexive verbs, we also need to use reflexive pronouns. So these are me for je, te for tu, se for il and elle, nous for nous, vous for vous, and se for il and elle. So what we have to do is we have to put this reflexive verb before the verb itself. For example, je me suis levé, or tu t'es levé. So we have to put this reflexive pronoun instead um, right after the actual pronoun itself. And this all comes before the auxiliary verb. So how do we form negatives? The standard negation of ne, ba, always goes around the auxiliary in le passé composé. And this is not the main verb. So for example, je ne suis pas allé en ville. As we can see, ne and pas goes around sui, the auxiliary, as opposed to aller, which is a conjugated verb. This has been the end of the lesson. As always, thank you so much for watching and be sure to comment down below if you have any questions about any of your A-level subjects. Also, you can visit www.revisealevel.co.uk for a full list of irregular verbs and also some more help for A-level French. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.